Uh, no, I'm part part time lecturer in scenography in, in at the University College of Westfall at the department. Norwegian Church Academy, where we're teaching in uh, scenographic and uh, scenographic uh, outreach of cultural heritage. Uh, I'm going to speak about. It's not easy to be Norwegian, so if you don't understand what I'm saying, so just please tell me. <laughs> We're going to speak about a workshop we have been running. I've been running with uh, Professor Sachs from ARCS for three years now on the island south of Oslo called Hoya. We have the same island in, in, in Orkneys. Orkneys is called Hoy, the high islands. It's everywhere. Um, the working title of the workshop is Our Grounds of Cultural Heritage. I mean, uh, bring out, take with us. We are so uh, lucky to have very good art, art students, scenographic students from all over Europe and all over the world coming to us, making <coughs> memorials about three uh, themes, three happenings, three, three things happened out on this island. Uh, one of them is the sinking of the German warship Lüscher. I don't know if you know it, but Norway won the Second World War after three hours by sinking the German warship <laughs> creature <laughs> the morning of 9th of April 1940. Uh, the second one is uh, about six guys, communistic resistance guys who was murdered by the German on the island the 2nd of November 1941. And the third one I can speak most about is forced laboured uh, sex worker on the island during the Great War between 1915 and 1918, making bombs and dynamite and exports from Norway to sell out to the fighting part of the first of the Great War. The island is placed here, south of Oslo. It's the capital town in Norway, here's the island, and we are staying around this part of the island. Uh, nobody lives on the island. We don't have any electricity where we stay. We stay there for 10 years without electricity, hot water, and nobody else, just goats <laughs> and whole houses. Um, and we are making memorials. Uh, here's an example from our mother's one beautiful memorial on Bangu in Bates, uh, from the Pio Uh That's one end of the memorial thing. The other end you have here. That's a Norwegian memorial, not yet realized. You know, that perhaps is from Utøya. Uh, it's a big arguing about will we build it or not. Uh, and this is from Berlin, the Holocaust Jewish memorial. Uh, the students come to the island without more or less no knowledge about the things that have been happening there. Uh, most of them are, are students from abroad. So we have one or two Norwegian students from 10, 15 students, and the students from other countries don't really know very much about Russia and the importance of Russia in, in, in the Norwegian history, uh, war history. Um, Russia was in 1940, in nine, everyone knows about Blücher, most of you. Blücher was, a, was the biggest German warship. Uh, they came in the fjord of fjord in the 9th of April 1940. Uh, this fortress is still there. Uh, they sank it. About 800 uh, German soldiers uh, died in the water that night. Uh, Every Norwegian know about this thing. It's very important. Uh, every Norwegian know the name of the cannons who the Jews shoot on the on the Jewish is called it's a Jewish names, Moses of Aaron, and every know more or less several other things about the, the ship, but nobody knows nothing about the poor boys who died there. There's a young boys between seventeen and nineteen. So young and have had the chance to move away from home and they didn't know where they were and the Farsi know that they were. So, and the died in water there. Uh, the students are making memorials about this happening. They're split into three groups, one group of each team. And uh, during the three years, we have both phases. They started uh, in 1915, 2015, 14, 14, three years ago. Uh, the first group made 800 sticks, so small in that size painted in white and 
gave it a number from one to eight hundred and put it above the place where Lucia lies. Still lies. And let them float away. The second one we make uh, really no down to the sea. You could see down to the dark sea, but you can see everything there. And this year, uh, the students interviewed high school uh, uh, what's called uh, pupils. Pupils, what are your dreams? What are you dreaming of in the in the future? And uh, in the nearby uh, town. They went into the streets and wrote those dreams on the streets there. And uh, that's the best one. I want to be called the Lord Cat Father. <laughs> <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> uh, and that's, that's to show that those guys who died there in, in April 1940, they didn't achieve the dreams at all. And they're still standing there. Uh, the sticks. Uh, was found on people living in, in the area, and uh, nobody really didn't know what this was. And we came to newspaper, small newspaper, there, and uh, we didn't tell anybody about that. So they're still wondering what sort of sticks, and we still find the sticks around in the area uh, three years after. Here's the logbook of, of the fortress, and here's the sheep laying on the ground. Uh, the the uh, second thing is, is an icebreaker called East, an ice bear, uh, captured in, in open at Spitzbergen in 41. 41 tried to go to, to, to Britain, uh, taken by the Scarpo, and six of the, of the resistant guys, they were also communists, uh, was taken to probably to, to this island and murdered there uh, the 2nd of November 1941. We don't know where the lies there are. And the thing about that is it haven't, the Norwegian government didn't have any interest in, in that because they were communist. Because the next day after the end of the war, we got a new enemy, the communists. So the communists who were fighting against Germany during the second war didn't, had, didn't have any interest had, from the government, from what, La, the, in the first this year or last year we got the first monument of communist resistance people in Oslo and very very disgusted also the, the monument is very yeah I'm discussing it but I'm still discussing it whether to stay or not uh, the first year the students is not easy to see uh, they made three door gates, normal size door gates, one on the shore and, the, and those poor guys came to the island uh, to show that came into a room that don't know anything about. And the second one is on a place where we could imagine where they were killed uh, in the second room and we were standing there and can look at the third door gate, a door that, that you would never be able to reach because when you are in the second room you will be killed. Uh, last year they made, the students made, an invisible grave. That's a uh, lime here, it's a live thing. It's Gestapo used to put that on the corpse after killing people. Then the corpse would dissolve faster, so they couldn't see the tor marks of torture or anything. And here you can see the grave. If you see it from the side, you see glass plate here. Uh, and that's indicating you don't know where the grave are. Uh, this year, uh, they stopped, uh, they collected a lot of leaves and put them into to, to plastic and stopped the, uh, the solving of the plastic to, to solve that. When they killed those six guys, they stopped something by an uncontrolled way. They stopped the life that have a normal cyclus. Um, here they stopped the dissolving of the life or the thing. And they said, that thing is still standing there, at it. they're lying in the, on the island. And that's the icebreaker. The most difficult history for Norway <coughs> is about the Hoya uh, explosive fabric. Started in 1915 and stopped in 1918. During 1915, before that, uh, it was it is still is a 
it's a diamond fabric or wrapping fabric on the mainland. Um, that's <coughs> the people who work there are mostly women, but of course they have small hands and small fingers and small salaries. Uh, very useful to make weapon. Um, but they have this, this different uh, the diamond factory has this problem. They kill them, uh, and the fathers and husbands was fed up going up, picking the dead wives and daughters there. Uh, so they protest against working. They stopped working on the mainland factory. And then they build a factory on the island. His houses from the factory still standing there. They're paying 88 houses uh, with room for several hundred uh, people to work there. And the labor was <coughs> delivered from police in Oslo and Christiana. Hundreds of prostitutes, hundreds of women who were shipped out to the factory to make explosive for Norwegian uh, uh, yeah, for, no, for, for Norwegian. All of this place is written Alfred Lupin. He was dead at that, at that time, but that was his drawing. Was the, uh, after his drawing, the factory was built. Uh, and this is the only thing, only place we have some written sources about this. This is an anniversary, anniversary book from 1965. Uh, it's nothing else but a lot of stories on the mainland, on the people, between the people who are living there, telling stories about it. Stories about... <coughs> yeah, uh, stories about uh, all the prostitutes who live there all this year, stories about children get born there, uh, things like that. Um, on the island you still have, if you, if you go in some more science way, you have houses that not that's not here anymore. Uh, and we have houses that still are there. And we have this mainland tradition. Uh, so for his, his uh, Hoya, so for Hoya, we have a fortress to uh, the canon him of our Moses on the island, with St. Blücher. Blücher is up here somewhere. Uh, we have a house here called the Hen House. The tradition about the Hen House is uh, that the Sex workers or a, or a woman who, or the girls who lived on the island, was shipped to the fortress in the evening. These the soldiers who were there. Uh, the men on the main, mainland were very good at drawing. Uh, they disappeared more or less every second day to collect mackerel, mostly, and came home with sufris. Uh, and we have this tradition, very strong tradition, <laughs> around this thing. <laughs> it's not a laugh about it, it's just probably. <laughs> uh, that is during the, the Great War, <coughs> or in Norway called the First World War. Um, you had this declaration of neutrality in Norway at that time. It's kind of the biggest, uh, uh, biggest uh, newspaper in Norway even came out on Sunday to print that declaration on neutrality. We wasn't supposed to sell any weapon and sell anything to all of each German or the other, other part of the board, but they produced uh, TNT or, or, or partial dynamite to the French forces in Drustia, uh, the woman there. Um, oh, I have a film in three minutes film now. <laughs> <laughs> So, how, how do you how do, uh, they go into that the memorials and, 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 and prostitute? You have the most famous one in Norway is this, this uh, painting from, from Christian Krog, one of the most famous papers in Norway. It's also on the main uh, the, um, capital hall in, in Oslo. Uh, we have a statue of the same thing. And more of the famous thing is about uh, four sex, you know, sex workers. In China, in China, Chinese on, on and Korean girls working for the Japanese army. And the worst thing is, is the rape of Jiang Jin in 1937. Uh, uh, this one thing they made, they made this uh, mirror tube. You can't see it 
But if you go around in, a, in the landscape there, sometimes you can see a blink of them in the mirror from the history, just like the history that you see in, in the books. You can't see it, but sometimes kind of you find a little blink of the history there. And here it used that same building, this mill, this pole, gunpowder mill, as an instrument and, and played concert on it. And made a graffiti on the wall inside. We couldn't see that because it was made of moss, so this famous moss graffiti, you mix moss with yogurt and paint on the wall, you can't see it after three weeks, weeks you can't see it. So, so, so that's also the same. And this year they excavated beds who probably was used from the from the woman there to living and put it inside this building. And up to this building they had uh, uh, speakers. We could hear girls walking around the pad, up to up speaking and laughing, as this is one of the only places that are allowed to be human between the places we're eating and working in the morning. So I have time for a small film. Yeah. Thank you, all the students, and my best. All the sample ones. <laughs> so.